I'll be showing nine new features in Microsoft Forms. This includes long-time feature requests, theming updates, polling in Teams, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. I'm here at forums.office.com, signed in, and the first new feature is a long-time request, and that is support of images in multiple choice questions. I'll click New Form here, give my form a title, my office space trivia form. So I will choose choice for multiple choice question and I'll give my first question a title. Which character said you apparently didn't put one of the new cover sheets on your TPS report? Now I'll give three different option choices here. I've added Milton, Bill Lumberg, and Peter. Now the new option is you can add images. So if I wanna have an image next to each of these choices, I click here. You can choose from OneDrive, you can upload an image, you can even do an image search across all of Bing. I'm just gonna upload because I have some images, so I'll just upload an image for each of these choices really quickly. Now I've uploaded all these images for my option choices, and let's see how that looks. I'm gonna go and preview to see what this looks like when the people receiving it get it. Ooh, that looks really nice. Now which character said this? I think we all know, it's Bill Lumberg, and I'm gonna submit. The second new feature is an updated and simplified collect responses interface. So in the upper right, I wanna set the responses for my form. First, we've put all of the different filtering, so anyone versus just people in my organization or specific people, that's all right here. If I wanna shorten the URL and copy the link to the form, that's right here. We have invitations versus QR codes or embedding. Those are all in one spot. We'll go back to invitations. I can even send it to Teams or Outlook. So for example, if I was gonna send it to Outlook, I'm gonna type in a recipient, Arden Asher, I could send it directly to Arden. Maybe I'm gonna uncheck Outlook and I'm gonna do Teams instead. So let's do Teams and I'm gonna send it to a channel. The pun new school staff in the general channel and I'll hit send. Now let's switch into Teams. Here I am in the high school staff and there is my office space trivia sent it right to my Teams channel. The third new feature is big updates to themes. So in the upper right, I will click theme. Now there's some new theme ideas right here. You can see that now there are some actual embedded videos. So if I choose this one, for example, Oh wow, that looks very office-like, charts and graphs, that's amazing. There's a couple other ones you can play with here, some skyscrapers and clouds. And then down at the bottom, there's some other embedded themes. So if I wanna choose one like this, it's very easy to put that right in there. So new theme improvements that you can play around with and explore. And if you wanna see a few more theme ideas, I click see more theme ideas, it'll generate some new ones right here. So you can generate and play around with different theme ideas to make your form look its best. The fourth new feature is background music for your forms. This is currently available to Office Insiders in January of 2023. I'm gonna to go to theme. And if I scroll down, you're gonna see background music. So I'm gonna turn this on. Then you can select the background music. Maybe we're gonna have just the sun. And I'll choose a nice background here. All right, it's a fun feeling form. Maybe I'll choose some pencils and I will choose campus refresh. So you can have a nice way to add a little fun to your form. You can see the little spinning musical note. So when people open it up, they'll have a good time feeling. To turn it off, just click that and that will mute the background music if you don't wanna hear it. The fifth new feature is expanded templates in this explore templates area. Up at the top now you have some templates. So for example, if I wanna do an academic and research study, I can drill in and see different templates. There's lots of different examples right here to click around. I'll hit back. What we have now is even more templates. So if I click view all, there's an expanded library and you can explore by category. So feedback and evaluation, registration and application, a lot of great information. Now I'm signed in as an educator in this case. If you're signed in a commercial, you'll have even more different options. You can also see right here which templates are trending and which ones are the most popular. So that gives you a little extra insight into how other people are using these templates and forms. The sixth new feature is the ability to set confidentiality level on your form. I'll hit the three dot menu and choose settings. And down here at the bottom, you can see classifications. I'm gonna edit and you can open up the menu and choose confidential. You'll see it adds a little confidential mark here, or I can set it even to highly confidential and it changes that mark. So now you can set classifications on your forms that you're sending around work. The seventh new feature is instant polls in Teams meetings, which is powered by forms. I'm gonna go into the top here and click plus to add an app. I'll search for polls and we'll add this. Now polls are the same thing as Microsoft Forms, just been renamed, so I'll click add. Now the new feature specifically is down at the bottom, you can see launch instant poll. So I can do a little check versus an X, a thumbs up or down or a heart. So if I just click here on the thumbs up and down, 
it immediately launches this poll. I didn't even have to go and target it or give details. So now I say, yeah, there's a thumbs up, one response, and there's a couple more responses. So really easy to just click and launch one of these instant polls right below. The eighth new feature is the ability to support multiple questions in your polls. So I'm gonna to go to the upper right here and choose new poll. Here's a set of questions and I'm gonna choose this multiple choice question. And I might fill this out, but what's nice is I can add another question. Oh, how are you feeling today? That's a good one. And I can even add a third question. And this time I'll choose word cloud. Now I can launch this poll and it'll be three different questions. So I'll click launch now. Here's the poll, my first question. I'll choose option one, go to the next one. How am I feeling today? I'm feeling great. And the third question, what is the word of the day? Fantastical, and I will click submit. And I can even see the responses of all three questions. So I can navigate through and I can see all these different responses. So it's great to have that multi-choice question option. The ninth new feature lets you add an image to multiple choice question polls. I'm gonna go back up here again and choose new poll. And now I'll choose multiple choice. You can see there's this new option for image here. So I'm gonna click on image. I'll upload my image. Look at that, a TPS report. So I can ask my question and fill out the options. So I filled out my options and I can launch the poll. And there it is, a picture of, we know this is a TPS report cover sheet. So I'm gonna choose this and submit. And there we are. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.